start with 168 and then I'll go to 96. Oh, it goes, it's raffle. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what an exciting day. Steve, you were very, I'm right over here, sorry, in the middle, up the front. Okay, sorry, gotcha. sorry. Very exciting day, Steve. Um, <laughs> you, uh, I think being, it must be very difficult to stay calm on a day like this and to see you jumping like that. What did you all do today to keep it together, to try to keep your nerves, et cetera? Brad, you've been through this before. What did you all do? this morning to get ready for this big day. I'm as cool, cool as a cucumber right now, absolutely. Um, you saw the jump, of course. I mean, everyone saying about the jump, but it, it was, a, you know, it's just no, really, truly, I was just so ecstatic, so happy uh, for us all. And, uh, you know, it's one of those moments in, in, in life where, you know, is it, you know it, it might not ever happen again, and, it's just, and you're living it, and you're there, and it's, it's not a dream, it's a reality. So, you know, emotions, physicality just takes over. So, you know, Van Halen, jump. <laughs> we will go. I had to clean up dog poop today. <laughs> we'll go to 96 and then 148. In my bedroom. <laughs> Hi, uh, Baz Family Boy from the Daily Mail. Congratulations, everyone. Baz. Um, five of you, this is being held as an historic win tonight. Um, can each of you explain why that is? And there was a sense not so long ago that, you know, it might not win tonight. And I know some of you feared that. Can you kind of dis talk and discuss, please? Thank you. You, yeah, I'll jump in there. Yeah, go. One, I, I love this movie. I, I just as, as film, as lo a, a lover of film, the filmmaking, the this, this heroic story of a man in this inhumane situation trying to get back to his family. I love this film. I love the filmmaking. It's counterintuitive to the way we're making films today. It's a, it's a, it's a real achievement by Mr. McQueen here. And I love this movie. I think it's important. I think it's important because it deals with our, uh, our history that we haven't, that we, uh, it's important that we understand our history, not, not, not for any kind of guilt, but that we understand who we were so we can better understand who we are now and why we're having the specific problems we're having or, this, or the successes we're having, and more, most importantly, who we're going to be. So it, it, it's important for that. But listen, at the end of the day, we just hope that this film remains a, a gentle reminder that that we're all equal, we're, we're, we're all, we all want the same. We want dignity and opportunity for ourselves and our family, and that another's freedom is every bit as important as our own. And that's it, and that's everything. We'll go to 148 and then 67. Hello, uh, Tim Masters, BBC. Hi, Steve, I'm uh, just here. Steve, I think a couple of weeks ago at the BAFTAs, um, you spoke about being a child on the school bus going past the Ealing Film Studios and, and sort of thinking about your future career. What would you say to the kids on the bus tomorrow who are, who are thinking about wanting to get into the film industry and will be inspired by what's happened to you tonight? Um, yeah, uh, I would say, yeah, go ahead. Go and you know, just go for it. Do it. Um, make it a reality. Um, just go, it's just one of those things where uh, dreams do come true in, in, in that way. But it's, it's, it's not too, it's not a fantasy, it's, it can actually be the reality. So uh, just go and do it, really, I, I would say that. And uh, yes, yeah, so I remember Ealing Studios, walking past it, you know, having you know, Alec Guinness movies, you know, Man in the White Suit, Peter Sellers movies and so forth, and You're Right Jack. So it was just one of those things where, you know, walking past those studio obviously rubbed off. So yeah, anyone who's going past with the 65 bus, you know, think about it, it can happen. 67, then we'll go back to 205. Shakela WEVN Boston, right here. Hi. Congratulations to each of you, an amazing story and an amazing film. Why do you think that Solomon's story is especially important right now in our society? Judy Gardner. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, don't, I actually don't think it's especially important now. I think it was important when it happened, and I think it was important for every year between now and then, um, 
and I, I know everyone shares our feeling of great um, sadness for the years that the book didn't, you know, fell out of print, and, um, and, and incredible joy that it's back on the shelves and now going to be in the libraries of every high school in America. So. Yeah.